Uh, I've been in various industries throughout my career. I've been a financial advisor for 26 years and uh, I have, I'm a award-winning entrepreneur also with one of my previous startups. Uh, it's called Let's Go Tour Singapore. So currently my latest uh, business is that I'm, a, I'm the general manager of Quick Colors Singapore. So we provide uh, fun and practical personality profiling tools. I did extensive research uh, when I was considering my MBA. So I went to uh, post-grad job fairs, I went online you know, to check out all the courses that are available uh, in Singapore. And uh, I chose uh, Roehampton because uh, it's a reputable public university in London. And of course, I chose Aventis as well for the convenient central location. Uh, more importantly, uh, the MBA was in, uh, in a modular, not a semestral uh, format. So that is very helpful for people like us who are working professionals. Uh, the other reason was also, uh, it was a weekend class. <sighs> I'm a day person, I'm not a night person. So I tried night classes, oh my god, it's, it's terrible. Yeah, so I really enjoyed uh, the day classes. Uh, personally, despite myself being quite uh, experienced in business, I have not had any formal business education. Uh, when I was younger, I took engineering because that was the most popular course at that time. So uh, my business decision making was quite haphazard. Yeah, I don't know any theories at all. So it was like uh, anyhow succeed or anyhow fail. Uh, usually it's fail. Okay, so whatever I told you just now, those were the success stories. But there were many times that I made uh, not any correct business decision as well. So taking the MBA helps me to uh, put a theory, uh, to learn something that, so that I could make better business decisions. And uh, also, more importantly, when I looked at uh, Roehampton and, and Aventis, it was taught by lecturers who were also business practitioners. So I could learn not just from the course material, but also from my lecturers as well. I had an open mind when I came for the MBA. Uh, I had no expectations at all because honestly, I, I didn't know what to expect. So I wanted to come like a sponge. I, I wanted to absorb as much as I can uh, from both the course material as well as from the lecturers. Uh, I would say that all the professors have made an impact on me. Everyone helped me to put uh, what I call a method to the madness. Because as previously mentioned, uh, my business decision making was ha very haphazard. It was like, uh, you know, anyhow do. And a lot of times I, I bang my head on the wall. So whatever I learned uh, helped me to streamline my thoughts. And also in that process, helped me to make better business decisions along the way. Uh, I would say that the, the bonding with my classmates uh, over lunch were very helpful because I, I, was, I would say that I'm quite a slow learner so my classmates helped me a lot and uh, we still keep in touch to this day. Uh, the classes are also very interactive. A lot of times it was not a one-way lecture but uh, we, were, we were always uh, invited by the professors to have a discussion and uh, you know, maybe even to have a debate as well, and maybe even as well as an intellectual argument as to why was this topic uh, in this way or in that way. I'm very fortunate because I'm self-employed, so it's not difficult for me to, to make that balance. So, uh, so long as I was disciplined enough to set aside time for my work, for my personal uh, life, as well as for my assignments. So uh, I will say that I'm one of the Kiasu students. I always strive to finish the assignments on time. I remember that I finished my dissertation. I took the fast track uh, route, which means I had a shorter time, and I managed to complete it two weeks ahead of time. So yeah, I, I, so I'm quite blessed that I am able to control my time.
The first word I would use would be holistic. The MBA gave me an all-round understanding of business. The second word I would use would be strategic leadership mindset. Uh, it helped me to lead my team better with the knowledge that I learned from the MBA. And the final word that I would use would be lifelong learning because uh, from my MBA, right, it actually stimulated my appetite to learn more. So currently, I'm actually doing my DBA. I would say four things. Uh, first of all, would be to set clear goals. Like, why are you even considering to do the MBA and what would you like to gain from it? The second point I would say would be commitment. Be prepared that it's going to be tough. You have to put in the time and the effort that is required. The third point would be support. Make sure that your family is taken care of. They, will, they are supportive of you. Even your friends, your colleagues, especially at work, that they know that you are taking your master's degree and uh, they are able to be supportive of you your efforts and finally uh, when you are in class make sure you network because uh, I will go back to the old saying that your network is your network so many of your classmates are also middle or senior management or even business owners so it's always good to get to know them a little bit better that you can meet them face to face go for it